accounts receivable turnover measures the frequency of the revenue collection cycle. This helps monitor the rate of collection for credit sales. A low ratio implies that collection of credit sales is slow and a high ratio will indicate that collection is fast. Accounts receivable turnover. A R turn. Before understanding accounts receivable turnover, we need to just take a quick refresher as to what accounts receivable is. This is when a sale is made. So this is tracking all the sales made, but not actually collected. So also is an AR aging. So at any point in time, even a mundane, boring CPA firm, let's say there's $100,000 in accounts receivable aging, $100,000 money owed to me at different intervals. So I personally say pay me right now, but usually it's, hey, look, we sent you the bill. You got 30 days to pay it. No rush, right? So current, we might have 30,000 of billing. Hey, now it's 30 days. Right, so these people should be paying up anyway, but we probably have another 10,000 at 30 days. We might have a 60 and 90. Not a fan of the 60, but let's say this is 10,000. So this 10,000 may never be collected. And if it is collected, it's probably being collected very, very, slow. So AR turnover, we're trying to conceptualize. Is the collection fast? Is it instantaneous? Which is good, right? Because we're getting our actual cash as fast as possible. Or is it slow? And is it dragging out? And so we have a way to do this in accounting so that AR turn equals sales over average accounts receivable. Average accounts receivable. Average accounts receivable, usually what it's going to do is going to take the prior period, AR, so let's say you had, you know, 100,000 in the prior period, and then your current AR, let's say you also have another half, current period, CP, another 100,000, divided by 2 to figure yourself a little average. Being very lazy, the average is going to be 100K here. So on average, 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 right here you'd have 100K in accounts receivable, 100K. Let's say you have a million in sales, right? So a million into 100, 10 in this case. So at all times, you know, 10% is your average accounts receivable. Now, let's say average was 500K. Oh my gosh. On a million of sales, you're not at 10, you're at like a 50, at 50 multiplier, right? So high in this case is bad because you're saying, whoa, there's a ton of uncollected money that we 
think we earned and we build out for but didn't actually collect. Now you can also do this by the day and you divide everything into 365. Ultimately the AR turn ratio is trying to establish what your collection is like and you also as in any ratio you must make sure it's comparative. So if we're talking an accounting firm, we should be comparing it to another accounting firm. If we're talking about a company that makes Kleenex, we should compare it to a Kleenex company. So AR turn is important, especially in like inventory based businesses. And so if a finance wizard or management guy can come in and improve the AR turn even by one day, even by six hours. When you have AR on some of these companies, they're not one million, they're like bajillions. So these ratios really start to matter and little changes will have a huge effect on the bottom line or especially that person's executive compensation peaceably. Accounts receivable turnover by accountingplay.com. Thank you.